Guys, we ordered uh, an oxalic acid vaporizer on Amazon. It's about 78 bucks, so it was cheaper than what we could get it at other places, and this is how it came. The cable zip tied together, uh, a copied, photocopied instruction sheet, and a handle with super glue to put it in there. It says in the sheet, sometimes it comes connected, uh, other times it doesn't. So what we're gonna do today is, this is our first time doing this. I wish we didn't have to, uh, but we found Varroa mites in all three of our hives, one worse than the others. So it's early winter, we're gonna go ahead and, well, really fall, but cool enough, we're gonna go ahead and treat them. I think it's probably a good day because most of the bees are still inside the hive. This is the oxalic acid that we got from Amazon, 99.6% pure. There were a lot of options on there. This is a good price. This is, uh, the instructions say a quarter teaspoon for each uh, brood chamber. So take a quarter of a teaspoon here and dump it inside this aluminum, cast aluminum or milled aluminum area. And then we are going to use our four-wheeler since it's easy to come out here. We're just gonna use the battery off of this, but first we gotta test it. The manufacturer recommends you do a test vaporization to know exactly how long a quarter teaspoon of oxalic acid will take to completely vaporize once you put it into the hive. In our case, it was seven minutes from the time we hooked up the battery until it was completely vaporized. It took a few minutes to warm up, then it like dry snow, it, it melted very quickly into a liquid, came to a rapid boil and vaporized. You'll notice I'm wearing a respirator and wrap around sunglasses. You need to just stay out of the way of the, the smoke. It is toxic, a toxic vapor. I was using our smoker to have a better sense of which way the wind was blowing and ultimately had to move upwind uh, to stay out of the way of it. Once we knew how long it took, we moved to and started treating our first hive. First thing we did was clean off the sticky board under the hive, wiped it down completely, retreated it with canola oil so that we'd know exactly how many varroa mites fell off of the bees at the end of the treatment. Tried to get as many bees out of the honey super as we could down into the hive body, inserted the vaporizer and began the treatment. It takes seven minutes to vaporize, but after you disconnect the battery at seven minutes, you leave it in the vapors for 10 minutes, leave it sealed for a total of 17 minutes. The bees looked great afterwards. They actually didn't look like any different, didn't seem bothered or upset. We replaced the honey super, the inner cover, the top, put our cinder block back on and headed to hive number two. Repeated the process, again, cleaned the sticky board, and that's just, it's important. You wanna know how many uh, varroa mites came off of your bees at the end of the treatment. I used smoke to try and move the bees down out of the honey super. Should have used a natural repellent to move them down, but in any case, you want to get your honey supers off of the hive and get as many bees down into the area you're treating. And, and oxalic acid, just to say, uh, and I'll post a link to more information about it, but it's a naturally occurring substance that's actually found in honey. We used, uh, in this case, we were treating two hive bodies, so we used a half teaspoon of oxalic acid, which is the limit that the manufacturer recommends, and there was no difference in the time of vaporization. We also, because winter is coming, we changed our entrance reducers. But once the treatment is over, these bees look fine as well, replaced the honey super, uh, the top and we were off to hive number three, which was basically uh, the exact same, a rep repeat of the exact same process. We have two hive bodies on this one as well. Well, the battery died, so we're gonna finish this video inside. It seems that it worked really well. So for 78 bucks, we saved what appears to be about 50 or $100 for other vaporizers on some websites. Although as I know, it noted in the video, you can get these cheaper. I've seen what looked to be much cheaper versions of these on other sites. It seemed to work as it was supposed to and it didn't really bother the bees, best I can tell. We have to do Two more treatments at least. You're supposed to do three of them a week apart. So we'll do it next Sunday and the following Sunday. I'll make a wrap up uh, video or an update video about this and we'll check the sticky boards and see how many Varroa mites have fallen off of the bees. 
And that, I guess, will be the real test of how well it's worked. But pretty happy with it. Seemed to work well. It was really easy. We did three hives in less than an hour, and really most of that's just standing around waiting. It just takes a little bit of time to put the oxalic acid in there, and then the rest of it is just sticking it in and waiting, moving from hive to hive. So worked really well. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.